Z to Z Podcast presents Review Z. So, this week I'm joined with Randy, Joe, and Warren. Randy and I will be equipping gear and shooting things up in Neurovoider, while Joe and Warren will be setting out on some epic quest, I assume, in Stories of Betham Full Moon. All right, and with that, hey there, Randy. Hey. Hey, so, okay, Neurovoider. So, this was published by Plugin Digital and developed by Flying Oak Games. They've ported it to Xbox One on March 17th, 2017, and it carries an Xbox Live store price of $13.99 US dollars. Now, I don't know. Had you ever played this on PC, Steam? No. Okay. I didn't know what it was until we reviewed it. So, yeah. I mean, I, so I much stuff the- comes out now. It's hard to kind of keep track of everything. Yeah, exactly. I think I saw somewhere on a forum somebody's like, this has been on PC forever. And you're like, okay. I never knew that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that's the case of a lot of this stuff, though. I mean, I think we found, too, when we went to uh, Boston Indie Games Festival that a lot of people that develop for pc don't even really realize that consoles have become such a viable option now yeah so um now i i know that this is that weird and i know we had a little offline conversation on genre right it, i mean i think we both agree twin stick shooter yeah. but like in the description they say rpg I can well, see it. <laughs> see, I did a little more research on this in between okay. uh, then and now. So it's kind of almost going to fall in the roguelike genre, which is typically a, um, you know, this style of game that's a dungeon crawler with a permanent death. So when you die, you're dead and you start from the beginning again, you lose all your gear, etc. Um, but typically that has more in-depth leveling and, and things like that, where this does not, where you are, there's no leveling up in this game. Um, you're square one. You die, you're done. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, the, there's no levels in that, you know, you kill 100 enemies, you're level 10 or whatever, yeah. where in, in normal kind of roguelike games, um you do level up, but I noticed they mentioned kind of in some of the menus, they call it rogue light. So I think that might be what they mean by that, where it's kind of got some of the rogue like elements that are, you know, this typically an RPG RPG genre and then kind of simplified it a bit. So yeah. I don't know. It's hard for me to classify it as an RPG, but I mean, it does have, as you were saying, when we were talking offline, definitely some elements of an RPG with, you know, gear and kind of progressively better gear as you go. Yeah. So, and classes depending on yes, classes as well. Yeah. So I think, so for, so for listeners, so you basically start out and you pick one of three class types and based on the class type, I think it was tank, Berserker, and then what was the other? Probably like the balance. Uh, the, the, s- the speed one. Speed. Okay, and you go faster. And so, depending on how your giant, and it is a twin stick, so move with your left, and then you aim on the right, and use your triggers to go between your two weapons. So, depending upon your style of gameplay, if you are just trying to go for the beat the, g- and I think that's one of the things. Kind of back to your original point, one of the achievements is to beat the game in under an hour. So, which should is, be pretty easy if yeah. if you can beat the game. That is, yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> we'll get to that. Yeah, so you you can get through a run in under an hour. It is achievable, and people have, you know people have gone through the completion and done it. So it is possible to do. But yeah, we'll get to the yeah <laughs> why mm-hmm. that's a lot easier said than done. And on top of that, as you're going through, the enemies will drop loot, and that loot is weapons, armor, and whatnot. So you can equip those as you progress each level. Like, basically, a level doesn't take too long, I would say. maybe no, I mean, there, were, there are some levels that I beat in under a minute. Yeah. I mean, so it depends. You, it's It's all randomly generated, so... You know, some correct. levels are going to take 15 minutes, some levels are going to take one minute. I mean, and yeah. and you can stay in the levels longer if you want to go look for more loot. But if you complete the main objective, you can leave immediately or keep searching for more gear. 
Yeah. So if you're going for that speed run in under an hour, you'd pretty much want to move through. What I found was, and I guess this is maybe because, again, you know, just playing it for the limited time that we're reviewing it, I would find that certain weapons, like when it comes to twin stick shooters, I like spray. Like uh, that's how that's my style of gameplay. My I'm less around aiming and more just eh, general vicinity. So I'd get a great spread weapon, and then when I finish the level and go to the next one, you're like, oh, I should equip this one. This does more to. And then the next thing I know, I'm like now with a single shot gun, and you're just like, oh finish the level switch back to what i had i hate i just well there was an, a way to test it before you equip it too oh yeah that would have been, it, show, I, I it shows really you the, the shot the shot the spread and how much energy it consumes so that's the other thing you have your your usual hp bar that does not regenerate in yep. li- and except in between levels and you can you can heal yourself and it gives you a little bit every time yeah. and then you have your energy which you want to try and never drop below zero because then you overheat you can't shoot until it goes all the way back to full yeah which is it's a tough balance because i was playing the see i did basically the opposite of you i was playing the big tank guy so I have the shield and the single shot rocket launcher, which my best run, which is the one I finished just before we um, recorded because I was playing a little bit more today because I wanted to try and make it to a boss, which I did achieve. Yeah. Took many tries. Um, I had a Gatling gun and a rocket launcher, which I found was a very good combo. Uh, yeah, so I my- had my, my spray for when things got a little too close and then my rockets for thinning out the masses at a distance so so we could both agree because i made it to a boss as well but it is you finally make it to a boss and if you die that's it you got to start it's all over. Yeah. <laughs> uh so i beat the first boss then i made it to the second boss and the second boss was stupid it was too it's just annoying like it's you got all these enemies on you and like the boss has tons of health there's no real yeah it's it's just one of those things where I mean, yeah, it's kind of going with like the classic punishing gameplay, but it's just that kind of, there's a reason games don't do that anymore. Yeah. It's because, and, and this is the normal mode. This isn't like, You're you know, super mode ultra mode. hard mode, which I didn't even try. There is a harder difficulty. Yeah, uh, rogue mode. <laughs> no, I was playing on Rogue, uh, playing which on was rogue. like the middle one. Like that's like the normal, you know, what they intended kind of thing. Oh, was um, it Voider? Is Voider the harder one? Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. I think so. I think arcade was easier, maybe. I don't yeah. know. Um, yeah, so... And it's just... It's a fun game, but it's just frustrating when... It, it's really And it's really easy to die, too. It's not like you... It takes a lot of effort to die. Um, I yeah, mean, it's, it's, not, it's not like you're going to get one shot or something, but it's pretty punishing. So... Yes. I mean, so the things that I did think were nice. Now, the one thing, it, this peeves me, just it, it's retro graphics. Again, yeah. one of those. Well, we always have to line. mention that. Mention, yeah. It's like, hey, retro graphics. But Was this an original? No. To its credit, though, it is a very 2D game. And yeah. I don't know. I mean, yeah, you could have had fancier graphics, but it would have been a big kind of step up in production in order to make something that worked um with kind of the the more modern looking graphics yeah and when you have a lot of enemies on screen yeah. i don't know it just seems that it doesn't you know that's one of the things i i, I don't notice as much with the xbox one as like older platforms when you get too much swarm on you know you get slow down i didn't notice any slow down with no it was really too. smooth i mean i didn't encounter any bugs no slowdown it, it was it played very well yeah. So, I mean, this is a game you could pick up, go through a run in under an hour, right? So, it's, if it's you a make relative. It that far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. So, it's a controller smasher, though, as a heads up. Uh, yeah. So, it, it's a controller smasher, but it's quick to pick up. Um, there's, there's definitely, when you start going through the gear and really start trying to figure out, there's definitely more complexity to it than if you just picked it up and just, ah, oh, just to equip whatever and go in. However, I think to that point, like if you're going for the full completion on this game, the the final achievements are to loop through the one of the modes twice. 
which means you'd have to go through and complete the game twice without dying because otherwise you're well that's what we're assuming because neither of us yeah. was able to beat the game because it's and only one person has done it yeah. one person <laughs> has done the uh the looping on twice so my assumption will be you have to do it twice through which i mean it's definitely a good game. You can definitely pick it up and do, but yeah, unless you're really into twin stick shooters or you're really just wanting that kind of thing, it's it's definitely an intimidating game too, just from you know that wanting to come in and do something casual. It, it ramps up really quickly. Yeah, it, well, I mean, I was almost finding it easier to. Um... Uh, play the kind of mid to later levels rather than the first two or three because I had really good gear and good weapons yeah. at that time. You know, it, there was enough playing that I could, you know, get some new gear, get some some new weapons, and really survive a lot better. Until you hit the boss, of course, then it's yeah. stupid. So, but uh, <laughs> so what I'm surprised about, um, I was just kind of looking at TA at the ratios on this. And the die fifty times actually has only been done six times out of a hundred people playing. Yeah, the game. I mean, Which, it'd be kind of annoying to just grind that out, but I mean, you could do it in an hour or two. Yeah, and it's what a seven point something that one. Oh yeah, seven point six people out of a uh, hundred. How many three hundred track gamers? Yeah. So I mean, not a lot of people have done it, but uh, yeah, again, it's like one of those because you have to go through to die. I mean, you have to have kind of committed to starting through the run through and you have to go through playing again. So it's not necessarily quick, but yeah, that usually tells me too of a fall off of how many people have actually made it, played through at least 50 times that have owned the game out of 300 people. Only six people have played through 50 games. Yeah. Because you'd have to I die. mean, I guess like I was saying off air, this is a game that I, would like to compare to something like the way I played perfect dark zero is it's really satisfying to play through it and succeed. But when you lose, especially on a particularly good run, it makes you want to never play it again. So it's kind of one of those games that if I was going to work on it for the completion, it'd be something that at most I could try maybe one or two runs a day. And then I would just, I'd have to stop playing because I'd just get frustrated. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely this is definitely your skill based shoot 'em up. So I think, yeah, as you said, somebody that is going to do this, like again, if you if you've done Perfect Dark Zero, if that's the kind of game up your alley, that frustration level, yeah, it's, it's it's exactly the same kind of frustration as Perfect Dark Zero, yeah. where you know you you just it's that same thing where your entire you know. 30 to 30 minute to one hour run can just all be lost in a in a second you, know, you make that one mistake and then you're done <laughs> so i think with that so so who would you say i i, I would not aim this towards the casual gamer i would definitely well this to- you know it, it depends on how you look at it if you're looking at it as kind of an arcade game not something that you plan on completing if it's just something you, you want to pick up and play that's kind of fun and easy, I'm mean, not easy as in like easy to beat, but just easy to pick up. Yeah. This this does that very well because if you're not really going for the win, it's it is fun. Like the gameplay is fun, the the kind of um not super complicated gear system is fun. And yeah, I found myself even today. I played for a lot longer than I expected because I, I played it a whole bunch yesterday, and and then I came back today because I wanted to try and get to a boss because I didn't get a chance to do that yeah. um, th- during the week. So yeah, I mean, I I'd say it could be for casual players. And now I don't know. Do you know if the the multiplayer is online or is it offline only? I'm assuming it's offline only. Local online. Yeah. So, so I don't know. Call. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. up to four players, so I don't know if um, if having more players makes the game easier or if, you know, if the difficulty ramps up with the extra players as well. So, And, I mean, that's it seems like it would be a fun game with, with multiple people just because it's so easy to pick up. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be tough to master it, but... You know, that's what we should do next time we're... Uh 
together we should go try to do some of those boss fights together I mean, yeah we'll see we'll probably fail miserably but either that or it'll be a glorious thing because we'll both you know just you take the left i take the right just take it down and <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah we'll see great. and it's like one of the you know there's certain games that it's like co-op makes it tolerable but as a single player it's just that kind of reminds me of like hack slash and backstab as a single player game you're just going to get absolutely wrecked. yeah but as multiplayer is where it shines. So, but yeah. being local only, hope you have some friends. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's the problem with a lot of a lot of these games now too. Is is the, I mean the I think the worst offender is Overcooked. Overcooked is like the multiplayer game and is local only. I mean, I get they want to go for that kind of like bonding experience slash anti bonding experience, depending on how much yelling you do at your friends, but. Um, Oh, do you need Overcook finish? I need to do that too. We should. Oh no, I'm I did everything solo and Overcooked, but because uh, oh. that that is doable, it's very doable. It's, uh, but I I'd still like to play Overcooked in co-op. I still haven't done that, but it's too bad that games are going that way. But I do understand the extra cost of implementing the online multiplayer. Yeah. So unfortunately, we can't really comment on that bit because neither of us have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we're recording this together and giving it to you folks. <laughs> yeah. But uh yeah, so it was it was good. I mean, the price might be kind of borderline on the steep side, but it did it did look nice even though it has the kind of retro retro style graphics. It played very well, very solid game. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would, honestly. Yeah. Um, and I'm kind of in that same point. It, it definitely was going in. I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. Um, again, one of those things it definitely has a lot of challenge to it. As you said, easy to pick up, but can have a lot deeper complexity to it depending yep. on how much you want to commit to it. And you're going to have to understand those complexities if you're going to go for the completion because it is yeah. by no means an easy one. Yeah. But, you know, and, and sometimes that's nice, though. So that's good to see that. You know, there's definitely levels to it. Easy to pick up for, you know, younger casual players and yeah, for hardcore completionists, it's it's a doozy. So, you know, it's kind of it has a little bit of everything for everybody and yeah, you know, definitely worth something to check out. At least for my opinion. Yep. Agreed. All and right. another a props to developers apparently uh, on launch, one of the achievements was unobtainable, and they quickly got that fixed. So, props to them for doing that. Yeah, so fully completable achievements have been fixed. So, it's nice to see developers that continue to support the product after launch. So, all right. With that, I will kick it over to Joe and Warren. Hello, I'm Joe. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm here with Warren, um, otherwise known as Planting42. You have to say hi, Warren. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, this is where I talk. Hey, how are we doing? <laughs> um, so today we are reviewing Stories of Betham, Full Moon, um, published and developed by Goo Games Development, released on the 2nd of September 2016. The Xbox Live store price is six pounds and thirty nine pence, and some amount of dollars. Seven dollars ninety nine cents. Cool. It is extremely well priced. Um, yeah, that that's my first thought. It's like this is only six thirty nine. This is incredibly priced. So um, yeah, right. Uh, how about you start? What 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 have you what have you thought of the game so far? Well. Um, I, admittedly, I haven't gotten very far in it because it does have some some interesting puzzles. It's <laughs> it strikes me immediately as as like a like an, an old school harken back to Zelda because it's it's eight bit top down like an action RPG where you don't have any sword or shield or anything. You literally just have a spell to attack with. So you end up spending more of your time backing away from things than you do advancing toward. <laughs> Yes, and also falling down holes. I'm oh very my god! Good at that. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it, I, I'm I'm really enjoying it. I, I'll admit, it is definitely going to be a, a, a slow goer if you're not the most observant, because there's some some little keys to puzzles that are just I, I don't know it, for some reason just out of reach until like okay, I sleep, wake up the next day, and like, oh, how did I miss that? Mm. 
Yeah, no, I, I've, I've been through the same thing. I've been streaming it. Um, I've done three streams. I've played about four hours, I think. Um, and um, yeah, the, the first stream ended just before the first boss um, with the nightmare of the balloon puzzle. Um, and then I sort of cogitated on it in the shower. And the next time I streamed, I was like, ah, there's a little dent thing here. Maybe if I use that, then I can get it to go in the stupid flame. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So after that, it was it was fine. Um, I've I've done two dungeons. Um, I would call them dungeons, and got two of the oneric objects, um, which is what you're supposed to collect. And I've just got my second bracelet. Um, not massively far through, but I am really enjoying it so far. Um, oh. We should probably explain the premise of the game. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the basic idea, I believe, as, as I've understood, is that your dad was cursed by a witch. And you end up going to this witch's sister to have it broken. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. The blue witch curses your dad. And then, yeah, you go and see the red witch. And um, she's really creepy, I have to say. She keeps on calling me beautiful which it does not seem appropriate. Um, <laughs> that and she wants to wash her fish, which I think is inappropriate when we're trying to save my father's life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there are... It, it, I mean, the game is quite tongue-in-cheek. It makes fun of itself. It breaks the fourth wall, and it has a lot of nods back to sort of old-school Zelda Pokemon-type games. I'm, You know, I really am enjoying it. I was just very slightly disturbed when I got my first costume. And then I went into this house and this woman basically tried to push her daughter onto me. And I'm like, <laughs> uh, this, this is inappropriate considering what I'm wearing. Did you pick up the costume? I Do you know don't I mean? think I've made it to that point yet. Oh, oh, oh well, I'm not going to spoil it then because you have to appreciate this costume. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, when you get when you get to that part, um, yes, you, you will be very amused. And then you have to find the house in the in, in the town or the city. Um, and, and experience that conversation. But um, yeah, me and the stream, we, we were having uh, having lots of laughs, shall we say. <laughs> oh, no. Now I have to play this more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I mean, it's such a good game. I'm really, really, really enjoying it. I've been exploring. I've got a bunch of candy and a bunch of red pearls and fallen down too many holes to count. Um, in fact, I'm fairly certain that's a statistic that it's tracking how many holes you've fallen down. Oof. If that's the oh, case, yeah, it, then is. it does track <laughs> it that. Is. That's amazing. <laughs> that's brilliant. Um, I don't think it's updated with the latest stats from today, but um, yeah. Yeah. Um, Pulling down the holes. Oh, yeah. Obviously not right for me because TA shows me at two. I'll have to look on. Yeah. On the, TA the showed me at 24, and I'm fairly certain I've fallen down at least that many just today. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, achievement-wise, uh, I had a quick look before I uh, started, and there are no unobtainables or discontinued achievements, which is always nice. There are, um, I believe the correct turn is a butt-ton of rare achievements, <laughs> uh, because people seem to have sort of started the game and then not really gotten very far. I think um, the fact that a lot of the achievements seem like they're kind of weighted toward the end of the game, it's all the collect all of these and finish all of these and, and some end game quests so that's yeah, probably yeah. why yeah i think there's, there's there's a whole bunch of story progression ones that you sort of unlock as you do the dungeons and you upgrade your bracelet um but yeah a lot of them are you know collect all of these and and stuff that you can only get when you get to the end of things and then there's two which require a second playthrough oh my and that's very important to note um, you, you have to play the game through to unlock the glory mode and then you have to complete the glory mode fully, which I believe is basically collect everything again <laughs> and get 100%. Um, well, at least that should go a lot quicker having done it once. That is a good point. Yes, you will know where you're going. But on the other hand, you still have to collect everything. So is it worth just blasting through it the first time? or and getting all the achievements and then playing through it again and getting everything else or yeah so what what would 
what do you what do you think we should recommend to the viewers? Oof. I would say enjoy it the first playthrough. Explore, find your way around. That way you have a good mental picture, mental map as to where everything is. Mm -hmm. That way when you make your second playthrough of that glory mode, you can just kind of run through it and, and get what you need and make that playthrough a quick one. Yeah, oh, that sounds about right. Um, looking at uh, sort of completion times from the 20 people that have completed it, you're talking 30, 40 hour completion. And considering the price... Uh, it's a definite thumbs up from me. I would have to agree as well. Um, although it's probably not completely up my alley, just because I, I would spend my my grindy time in something like Elite. But yes, uh, for the for the money, for the fun you're gonna have, there, there's a load of content in this game. And although the the dialogue is just a little weird, and there's some creepy people in here, I, I think that there, it, it's it's definitely worth your while to to spend a couple bucks on it and experience it yourself. Yeah, yeah, it, it's such a fun, cute game. Um, and um, shout out to my streamers for no, my streamers. I was streaming. Shout out to my viewers for helping me figure out um, a lot of the puzzles that I was stuck on you've got a lot of pushing blocks into holes and and wangling balloons around things so it was it was really quite fun having having help on that so um yeah stream it if you haven't streamed already it's really easy to do on um the beam integration and uh, quite fun actually one of these days i'll have to see if i can pull it off with beam but my internet is not great ah yeah okay that that might be an issue um but yeah um I thought the um, controls handled really well, really smoothly. Um, aside from me flailing around, firing um, bolts of wind and missing monsters completely, um, I, I thought it didn't didn't seem janky or glitchy or anything, which was obviously you know really really good. And with it being just like a top down lock, yeah, the camera didn't get out of the way, so it, everything felt solid. Yeah, I didn't get stuck on anything either, which is um, always appreciated, um, especially if hitboxes are slightly uh, off kilter. Um, it's really easy to get stuck on pieces of scenery. And so far, it's been really smooth. I've managed to recover from falling down a few holes. So that's that's good in my mind because the controls are really responsive. Um, you don't I like the animation, the, the little characters. scrambly. It's like, no, no, yes, no, don't it, fall. Oh. It's like a little moonwalk. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, cool. Do you have any any further comments? No, I think we pretty much summed up everything I can think of. Yeah, definitely. Great mm -hmm. little game. Decent price. Give it a shot. Yeah. Thumbs up from me. Thumbs up from Lauren. And uh, until next week.